We're back. Segment two of the Bible says this. What say you? Psalms 33 verse four. The A clause says the word of the Lord is right. Now I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. And I'm talking to you about some things that's on my heart and my mind. And I've been talking about our attorney general. A uh, fellow North Carolinian, Miss Loretta Lynch. God bless Miss Lynch. But I tell you, she's had a tough f a few weeks here, tough going, you know. Um, uh, Loretta Lynch suggested that HB2, uh, House Bill 2, which, by the way, is not a bill anymore. It's the law of the land, um, is uh, the new Jim Crow. I would say to her and anyone who utters such a thing uh, that uh, it's, uh, you, you got your J.C.'s mixed up. It's not uh, Jim Crow who said that God made them male and God made them female. It was J.C., but it wasn't Jim Crow. It was Jesus Christ. Christ said it in Matthew 19 and uh, verse 4. He says, and he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man, male, leave his, leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. Wherefore, that they are no more twain but one flesh, Therefore, what God have joined together, let not man put asunder. I'm amazed at the, the, the Loretta Lynch's, the Barack Obama's, and the other people of the world who talk as though they know more than God. And it amazes me how we, we, we just suspend common sense. We suspend. Spend reason. We throw uh, reasoning and common sense out the window and we entertain mentally deranged people, sick people, a woman who walks around thinking she's a man. Hey, oh my God, I pray for you. I'm not trying to be funny, but, I, but I'm not going to coat this thing. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I will not be a part of the charade. I will not uh, use euphemistic language to describe godless, wicked, deviant uh, behavior where people, uh, people need help. People need prayer. People need to cross. People need to be counseled. People need to be delivered. But I tell you what they don't need. The transsexual community, anyone who's watching, who's thinking about it, you may need a lot of things, but I tell you what you don't need. You don't need a physical, any physical alterations on your body. For there is nothing wrong with your body. There's something wrong with your mind. There's something wrong with your spirit. Your body is just fine. Uh, Cher Bono's daughter uh, messed herself up trying to become Chad. And uh, that's a botch job. And at the end of the day, that, that's Cher's daughter. Will Smith, your, your, your son is your son. You can let that boy dress up like a girl if you want to and shame on you. That's your son. And you should do everything you can to encourage your son to grow up and to, and to be the man whom the God of the Bible made him to be so forth and so on. But I'm talking to you today because it seems like this thing is not letting up. The DOJ calls for judge to halt enforcement of House Bill 2, Charlotte, North Carolina. In the, uh, in the newest chapter of the ongoing saga, the United States Department of Justice is calling for a federal judge to stop North Carolina enforcing the bathroom section of House Bill 2. Now, I know, now, now, now Gary, now let me tell you something, the, the black preachers, the NAACP guys ought to feel like fools. You ought to if you don't, because, and, and, and listen, before you turn me off, hear me out. You guys have been walking around, and, and you're the only ones talking about it. Well, and, and you said it to me. You know, Pastor Wooden, we're with you on portions of HB, uh, HB2. You know, we're with you on the bathroom part. But it's the part where you can't uh, sue on a state level for discrimination that we're concerned about. Okay. Where are you now? You got to join me now because look at what happened. 
They changed that part. They restored it. Now, the, 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 they changed the law to restore workers' rights to use state law to sue over employment discrimination. That part is gone. But I still don't see the men of God, those men of God who say we are with you on the bathroom part. Hey, guys, I can't hear you. Where are you? You should be joining me now in denouncing uh, this attack on common decency. I thought that men innately uh, protected their women. And yet it is the bathroom part of the bill. It's, it, it's what I said it was from day one. It's the bathroom part of the bill that they don't like. Uh, they want North Carolina to allow perverts to have access to our women's bathrooms, changing room, and, and, and locker rooms. And look at this, the Department of Justice, Loretta Lynch, uh, President Obama's Department of Justice, uh, you know, is this the change that they were talking about? Is this the change? Is this the change? I guess it is, because for African Americans, regular black folk, there's been no change. Now, there has been a change, I must admit it, between the income gap between rich and poor. There has been a change. It's gotten greater. There has been a change in the middle uh, 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 with, the, with regard to the incomes of uh, middle America. Uh, it's shrinking. And the poor, no change. It's, it's still poor. Unem unemployment among African-American males is is still way too high but for the lgbtq community there has been tremendous change so now the the uh the, the the department of justice is coming after our state because in north carolina uh, they passed this common sense legislation which which again and i know i've talked to you about this but i got to keep it before you because if we let it go away you'll forget and people will cave, and I, I've been texting the governor, and I've been talking to everyone who I can to say, stand your ground, fight back. If they sue us, sue them, because, listen, we can't have a society where men are allowed to enter into the restroom with women. That's going to be a problem. I just spoke to my uh, uh, executive administrator, Wanda Thomas, and she told me of a man that she talked to the other day. I'm not going to call his name, Gary, but she called the man's name. This man dressed like a woman, wear women's clothing. I mean, you can tell he's a man from all the stubble and, and everything else because, look, guys, you don't look like women. It takes more than putting on a woman's clothing for a man to pass as a woman. God did some mighty work when God made women. Yes, he did. And I know the women out there agree with that. If you don't, something's wrong with you. But let me tell you, she talked to this man, and the man's standing there with dressed like a woman, and she asked him, says, you know, uh, you, what's going on with you? And the man says he knows he's wrong. Hey, the guy even says that he wants to have children. The guy even says he's still sexually attracted to women, but he dressed like a man. But he dressed like a woman. Hey, I'm confused. But he wants, to have, he wants children. He's sexually attracted to women. He says he grew up in a house where he was with his mom and his sisters and he, he watched the way they dress. So he, he likes dressing like that, but he still won't want a woman. You're not going to find a woman in North Carolina, I hope not anyway, who is attracted to a man who dressed like a woman. But you never know because the women sure had a thing for Prince. And if he didn't dress like a woman, my name is not what it is. Don't turn me off. Don't get mad. I'm not speaking evil of the dead, but you have to admit... Prince's style was as transvestite as can be. Now, this man says he's sexually attracted to women. And, and, uh, and now, do you want this guy to have access to women's bathrooms, locker rooms, and changing rooms? Now, ladies, if you're watching this with your man and the guy is sitting there saying, well, it wouldn't bother me, you need another boyfriend. Or you need, you need, you need to divorce him because he doesn't care anything about you. A man who cares would in no way want uh, a, a, a man, a deranged man, uh, and uh, a man in disguise, disguised as a woman, uh, in the bathroom with, with, with you, with his, with his wife, his girlfriend, uh, whatever. 
He, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't want that if he loved you. And yet, we're in a day where the Department of Justice is suing our state to allow just that. And they make, they, there are so many myths. They, they want you to believe that North Carolina has come up with some unprecedented law. No, 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 no. And that we've come up with something new. This thing has been the law of the land forever. Uh, uh, and uh, other states have the same law. All we're trying to do is maintain order. Remember, the Psalm says, if the foundations of the, uh, of, uh, be destroyed, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? do. We are trying to maintain good order and yet these, these perverts, they are coming after us. They have mislabeled our state. Oh, and by the way, we're having a whole lot of concerts. You know, I guess that time has passed for all these people. We're not going to perform in North Carolina. We're not going to bring a business to North Carolina because of that discrimination of North Carolina. I guess someone is telling these people the truth and we're finding out that there's no discrimination going on uh, at all. Well, HB2, which is no longer House Bill 2, it's the law. It does discriminate, but it discriminates against bad behavior. Society has determined it makes common sense. It's not a good idea to let men and women share changing room, locker rooms, showers, and bathrooms. If there's a guy out there who don't mind a man taking a shower with his girlfriend, with his mama, with his sister, with his daughter, call me. Call me at the Upper Room Church of God of Christ. Look me up, just call me, and I'll pray for you. I'll help pull all the oil that we have in this church on you and anoint you and ask God to anoint you because there's something wrong with you. And I pray that we keep uh, this, this law intact. And, and Loretta Lynch, how about uh, prosecuting Hillary? The FBI did find that she lied. How about go after some of these other people? Why would you come after our state? Why would you come after our state? The same uh, attorney general who was not going to release the true conversation that the killer in Orlando, a Democrat, check this out. I mean, you talk about messed up. A Democrat, registered Democrat. I'm a registered non-affiliate. Registered Democrat, a Muslim who pledged allegiance to ISIS and according to the patrons at the bar, and uh, his uh, ex-wife, a homosexual himself. So the man had, uh, you know, he, he hated himself. He pledged allegiance to ISIS. And um, he shot up a bunch of uh, people at a homosexual bar. And the man was a registered Democrat. Now, th that doesn't fit the narrative at all. And when he called in because... ISIS and Islam require that when you're in jihad, jihad means struggle, when you're fighting and you're killing people, it requires that you call in or you make known your deeds. So he wasn't calling to be courteous. That's part of it. He had to do that. And he said that he was killing people in the name of Allah. Well, the attorney general didn't want to uh, uh, release that. She says, uh, we, we, we're going to take Allah out and put God in. Okay, so we're going to indict all religions. We're going to make it look like he was just doing this thing in the, name of, uh, in the name of terrorism. Well, they don't kill in the name of terrorism. They're killing in the name of the Lord. Our president said, what is to be gained by using the term radical Islamic terrorism? What's so magic about that term? My question would be, what have we gained uh, from your not using the term? I think that the answer to what is gained is that it sends us to their playbook. Yes, there are peace-loving Muslims, but when it comes to spreading Sharia law, when it comes to spreading it and conquering the world, there are various methods that are used which include peace, which includes dialogue, but if that doesn't work, also, it includes terror and destruction. And if we use the term, it sends us to the playbook. We study what they study, so we think the way they think, and we learn something about our enemy. And I think it's a good strategy to know something about your enemy. My friends, I'm out of time. This is what the Bible says. What say you?
I'll see you the next time.